YouTubers, my juicers. I just wanted to jump on here real quick. Just came in from work. I was like, let me get on here and talk about what's trending in social media, which is Kanye West. What is going on with Kanye, y'all? Kanye is straight tripping. He is straight out of his zone. I have no clue what's going on, but we're going to talk about it today. But I picked a very easy 199 Promises of God. Uh, which is so pertinent nowadays because these kids are off the chain. Uh, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he old, he will not depart from it. Proverbs 22.6. I left my glasses at work. But, um, yeah, my son, I used to give him so many lectures. The last thing that the last resort was to whoop my son. And he got whoopings, and I ain't ashamed to say it. He got his butt kicked. But it wouldn't be the first alternative. I would take his phone, I would take his clothes, you know, brand new clothes. If you're going to act like you're in elementary school, I know you ain't going to think you're going to go to middle school looking like somebody in middle school or high school when you tripping and you acting like you in grammar school. So he used to have to wear uniforms. And if I didn't make him wear them uniforms to middle school, I sure did. You gonna act like it, you gonna look like it, okay? But anywho, uh, all those lectures I used to give him, and he turned his eyes up in his head like, oh my God, are you finished yet? But he was listening. You know, he was listening. Um, He's doing a good job. I mean, he's working. He stays at home, but I'd rather have my home because he's the only child. And the last three times that he stopped, you know, he was staying by himself, it didn't turn out well. He would all lose everything and then have to come back, lose everything and come back, lose everything and come back. So I would prefer, since I'm being the only child, he's not close to my side of the family. Well, he's closer to my side than he is his, his dad's side. So... He's not close to their side. So he's not close with either side where it's just like mashed. It's like he'll put up with him when he's around him. So I would rather for him to be at home so I can watch over him. And, you know, he have a sense of family and, and opposed to being out there by himself. But he's doing well, guys. I mean, my son, I love him to death. Um, he got some mental health issues as far as ADHD. But on the more extreme end of ADHD. And he self-medicated with weed. He got to have his weed. And I must say, he graduated when he was... He could have graduated when he was 15. But I wouldn't let him. I let him. I made him go when he was 16. He graduated 16. And then I got him an apartment to try to teach him some skills before I sent him off to college. After I got him an apartment and... He paid his own bills and all that stuff. As soon as that was over, he moved back in. So, I don't know. But you have to show a, a kid. The kid has to fear you until they can fear the authority in life, like the bosses and the police and stuff like that. Fear God, you know. So they have to have some level of fear from their parents, you know, or disappointment. They don't want to disappoint their parents. Neither do they not, I mean, they don't want to feel the wrath of their parents. So it's a good thing when you have structure and discipline with a kid. You show them in the way that they should go. You show them and point them towards God. And until they can reach that in their mind, reach that level in their mind where they are going to turn their will and life over to God. You have to be the God in their life. So, yeah, I turned my kid over to God a long time ago. I'm like, God, you got you to gotta take care of him because the times that he live in, I'm contending against evil. So, please take care of my kid, you know, and he's done just that. I didn't think he would be doing as well as he's doing today based off the behavior of yesterday. I'm telling you, I had probation, parole, and social workers, and therapists, and all that in my life. 
and God worked it out. So you have to show your kids in the way that they should go. And they will gravitate towards that once life gets in their life and, and start teaching them, okay, this life ain't fair, you know, and you have to lean towards some skills that you know that's been embedded in you by your parents in order for you to survive out here in the streets. So I stayed on him, and I thank God that I did. And then I took that belt out when I had to. And then I took these hands out when he got old enough, and I felt like, okay, I feel like I'm in the fight now. You know, I can hit him, and he can hit me back. and You know, I like it. But that's my baby. But anyway, let's talk about Kanye West. Kanye West is planning something, guys. And my brother, my sister, I think it was, was telling me today, because I think he got mental health. And that's what I've been talking about. If you guys go back and look at that episode that I did about Kanye West and Kanye West and uh, Kim, you will see, I, you know, I think he has a lot of mental health problems. But my sister was like, he ain't got no billionaire status, not knowing what he's doing. So he knows what he's doing. He know the black and brown vote is nothing. I think he's going to plan it. I think he's going to pull it, y'all. He is going to run for president. And he knows if he get the white vote, he's in there. Vote for Kanye. And if he get Donald Trump behind him, he most definitely going to be in there. This is a narcissist. This is a person that think he knows it all. He got it all figured out. And believe me, I think he's going to get a lot of votes. I think he's going to get a lot of the white votes when it all ultimately boils down to it. You know, so he's trying to lean on the side of, I got to think about the future. Watch. Watch, and that's probably when Kim, Kim and him get back together because she would love to be the first lady. Can't y'all see it? Can't y'all see it? He want to one-up uh, Jay-Z and Puffy, 50 Cent. He wants to be the president, or he wants to have a successful show. He might not win, but he might be on the edge of winning, you know, and that's total clout. But now all these people are pulling out from him because he's making all these anti-Semitic. Look at Trump. Did it make him uh, less winnable, likable, that he was, he's clearly prejudiced. The verbiage that he used is clearly biased against brown people and, and, and black people and Jews. He's pro-white. Apple pie, Pale, white, total white, supremacist. So I think he has a plan, people. He has a plan to run for office. And you have to think now what you, I mean, I think he might be the Antichrist. I mean, my goodness, I don't know. Who would do this? Who would actually compromise their morals and values to look like a, 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 a Uncle Tom. You black, you ain't gonna be white. I don't care how much money you make. Never going to be white. I have no understanding on, except the fact that he's got something bigger in, cooking up in his mind. He knows if he get that white vote, that white vote, and he get Donald Trump behind him. And that's not so far-fetched that Donald Trump would be behind him because then he'll have some leverage in the office if Kanye, if he took him serious. You know, Kanye wants to be the boss. He wants to be the supreme. He wants to be a god. Believe me when I tell you he's planning to run for president. Watch. Just like Jesse Jackson and all the rest of them that tried to, you know, he see people like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Ronald Reagan became, you know, very public figures, figures, you know, like he was the governor of California, I think, Schwarzenegger, and then also uh, Ronald Reagan, you know, became president, you know, an actor. So why not a rapist, a rapper? You hear me? I was going to call him a rapist. <laughs> 
Anywho, I'm just amazed because never in one whop we had so much attention going towards one person. You know, he's losing endorsements. Adidas is fall, you know, falling out from him. You know, so his Yeezys are just gonna be Yeezless. And they saying he's not gonna be a, a billionaire. I think he's still gonna be a billionaire. He's still got his music, he's still got his influence. Um and I think he has some get back, you know, like he hasn't exposed his full hand. But I think he thinks he got something on the back burner that when he brings that forward, these people that's fallen off from him are going to gra uh, gravitate towards him. He ain't lost nothing so significant where he's not going to have enough money to spend and spend generations and generations and generations down the road. Oh my goodness. I, felt, I feel foolish now at this point thinking that it was all about mental health. I think he do have a traumatic brain injury, but I think he has, on the most part, mastered um, on how to operate and function with an, a traumatic brain injury, some mental health. Um, he's doing, he, you got to believe, you got to believe that there's an end game here. This is not just something that happened in a vacuum and that he's not going to have a, a soft place to fall. He is. He is definitely going to do that. So it's, hard, it's slim pickers. I don't see how anybody can constantly talk about the social media and the, the star celebrity news. And, and you know, you got to start talking about something else because every day there's not something to talk about. This is not my first alternative is to talk about stars. I did have to want to weigh in on Kanye West because now I think, you know, he got some foolery going on and he just basically got an end game in place and we just don't know it. I think he's going to run for president, but maybe he has something else. I don't see what else he hasn't done that he wants to do except be president. You know, he got his, his Yeezys, he got his little church where he's, I think he liked the admiration and, and the pedestal that he's on in his own Christian little organization. And that's something he going to run on is the fact that I'm a Christian. I have my own organization. I, you know, I have my own following, you know. And plus, just like Donald Trump, and I don't think Donald, Donald Trump is a billionaire, but he has... The idea of making money, multiple in stream, uh, streams of money, people like that. And that's one thing that I heard when Donald Trump was running, that he was a successful businessman. Kanye is a successful businessman. People love money. That's one sure way to get in office. It's the ability to create jobs and keep people in the lifestyle that they're accustomed to or even higher. So I think this is going to play out and watch. You're going to be like, spirit juice, no additive. Edward said that. Something's coming down the pike. And it might come down sooner than we expect. Especially with all this coming at him at one time. I'm knocking over my clock and all of that good stuff. But, uh... I'm, I want to start talking about, because most of my people that follow me are women. Women. I, you know, like I told you, I was a, a counselor and my master's in, is in spiritual leadership. I want to start doing shows that cater to women. You know, I used to do women's groups all the time and the women used to just not miss a group. They used to pile in there because I'm a man, number one even though I'm gay man, but I am a man. And I say how I feel. I say it the way I, I see it, you know. And it's usually on point when it comes to women. So I want to start taking issues that I think pertain to women, pertain to um, cater to spirituality, and build a channel around that. I don't want to be pigeonheeled 
into one aspect of entertainment or on, on spirit juice, no added. I just want to talk about life as I see it. You know, talk about my stuff and how I see and what I think about, you know. These stars are always going to be there. They're always going to be doing something to give us something to talk about. Let somebody else do that. But on the most part, if there's something happening in current affairs or in entertainment, celebrities, I'm going to talk about it, you know. But I'm not going to make that my mainstay because I do have a lot of um, talent to work with people and knowing people, you know, and giving advice and counseling. Because I am a counselor. I went to school for it and got my bachelor's in it. And plus a spiritual leader in that, you know, I deal with people holistically, just where they at, and we 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 talk about the whole sh- caboodle. So I want to start doing that. And if you guys want to support me in that, put it down in the chat. I don't know. We, I, I, we got 178 subscribers, and we did this, guys, in about a month, just over a month. So that means we're doing something right. We just, you guys got to help me. You got to bring me up. You got to put in that comment what you want to see, what you want to hear, and how you want to feel. And I'm there. I am there. Um, I just want to thank everybody that are, you know, that have subscribed. I want you to continue to tune in, continue to give me feedback, constructive uh, feedback. I can take it all. I have a very thick skin, you know, in a quick mouth, okay? So I could put somebody in their place real quick and not even have to put my hands on. But I want to grow from this. I want this to be an opportunity to feed off of people that like yourself, vice versa. And I just want to grow. I just want to grow as a person on here. I don't want to just be sitting here and doing the same thing and just talking about people and not evolve myself spiritually and mentally and physically. So I might talk about the gamut. And I hope you guys support me in that and continue to like, share, and subscribe. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let's get those subscriptions up. Let's take this to a different level. Real soon, you're going to be seeing me gradually inching towards where I want to be at. But, yeah, I just need to support. Support the channel. It's dollar sign, spirit juice, 51. Dollar sign, spirit juice, 51. A dollar, 50 cent. I don't care. You know, whatever you have, you know, send it this way so we can start adding to our quality of time spent together. On that note, I'm going to leave you in peace. Good night.